I'm back in Italy. I've basically been going down the same spiral where I hate my content. I always get to that point when I spend more than a few months in Canada and I just came to the realization that what makes me the happiest and most fulfilled in regards to my YouTube channel is making videos about my country and my culture and so I hopped onto a plane and here I am I'm back home I feel very inspired when I'm here and it's the craziest thing because when I was living in Italy I thought Italy was a boring country and after living abroad for a while, you start to appreciate your home country in a whole new light. It makes you realize that the things that you considered ordinary your whole life are actually very unique and special. For me, one of those things that I always thought was very ordinary was the carnival in Venice. It's carnival season here in Italy and Venice is known as the city that hosts the best carnival in Italy. And I'm very lucky to live a 30 minute drive away from Venice. so. Growing up, my family and I would go to Venice every year for the carnival. Going to Venice was nothing special for me. Now that I've been in Canada for like six years, I haven't been coming back in February because I usually come in the summer or like Christmas. So I haven't been to the carnival in six years. And I came on purpose because it's just the most magical thing ever. And that's what we're doing today. And my mommy's actually making me some carnival themed breakfast. And then we have piacere. These are just like very thin, I don't know how to describe these cookies. So good. So if I had a choice, I would stay in Italy and film Italian content for as long as you guys are willing to watch it. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. You guys always ask me why I don't move back to Italy permanently. I would move back to Italy if I was a citizen of Canada because with a citizenship you can leave the country for as long as you want but I have a permanent residence. Permanent residence is basically what allows me to live and work in Canada and if I stay out of the country for more than I think three out of five years I would lose the permanent residence. So that would mean that I would have to live the rest of my life here in Italy. That's kind of scary to me because right now everything is going well because I have my YouTube channel but if I didn't have my YouTube channel and I had to work here in Italy I would probably be making a very low income. The job market in Italy is very shitty and most of my friends don't make more than 1200 euros a month. They tell me that they're struggling a lot, they can't move out of their parents' house. That just doesn't sound like the future I want for me. I don't know how long this YouTube channel is going to last, but I have to think that eventually I have to go and get a normal job. And whenever that's gonna happen, I would rather get a job in Canada than in Italy because even before I had my YouTube channel, by being a server full time, I was able to make a really good income and afford more than just basics. In order for me to keep my permanent residence, I have to keep going back and forth between Italy and Canada. I'm going to eat a little bit more of these and then we're going to head to the train station and go to Venice. We're here. I forget to tell you that I actually booked the hotel, so we're staying the night, that's why I'm bringing all this luggage with me. And it's Canal View, so I'm very excited. I've never stayed the night in Venice before. I've only just come here for like a day trip and then come back the night. Let's go check in right away because I am not carrying this thing all around Venice. My hotel is right over there, but to get there I have to cross 
this bridge which is like a thousand stairs and I have a luggage, a bag and a tripod. So wish me good luck. Oh my god, I'm dying. Welcome to my room. I stink. Every time I have anxiety, my sweat smells 10 times worse than my normal sweat smell. I was having anxiety inside the train because my luggage kept falling over and everybody was staring at me and I hate being stared at. I got tickets for this light show that they're gonna do in the water, like on the canal. I really don't know what exactly that show is. I just got it recommended from the hotel and so I got tickets for it. The lady at the front desk said that this is their best room, so... They gave me two candies. Oh my god, these are the candies that my grandma would put in my backpack every day when I used to go to elementary school. They're like these uh, chewy candies. This is where you come in from. That's the door. Ooh, TV. And this is a desk. Over here we have a closet. And look at this beautiful painting. Over here we have the washroom. It's a very basic washroom. A moment of appreciation for the bidet. The star of the show is this view. No, the train station is so close, I could swim to it. It's right there. Fun fact, every time someone asks me um, where I'm from in Canada, I always say that I'm from Venice because I live very close to it and nobody knows where the fuck Padua is. And everyone's always like, oh my god, you go around in a boat? And I'm like, yep. And I let them think that I have a much more interesting life than what I actually have. It was fun and they'll never know because I usually tell that to people that I know I'm never seeing again. That'll do. I guess we're going to have the full carnival experience tomorrow because it's already dark and you can see very well. Yeah, why am I talking like that? I don't really know where I'm walking right now. I am just following the crowd. Actually, the crowd is going the other way. My objective for the next hour is to find a place that sells authentic masks because I feel like I'm the only one without a mask in here. I'm not the only one, but I just feel boring. So I want to wear a mask like all the cool People. I don't want a made in China mask like these guys right here. So I want to find an artisanal shop that sells handmade masks. And I'm already getting kind of hungry. Is it not pretty bad? No, I'm YouTube. <laughs> Talk to me. And also, I don't want to waste my money and eat at a tourist restaurant because they're overpriced and food sucks. I did make some research about what restaurants are good in here, but the ones that I liked don't take reservations for one, which is kind of rude. What do you have against lonely people? Represent. For dinner, we have ramenzini, which is typical Italian sandwiches. maps is making me walk down these roads where it's just me and I'm kind of scared to be honest but if someone attacks me I can always use my tripod to hit them take the stairs then in three meters take a left on
And in case you were wondering what Venice smells like, it smells like a mix of piss and dried fish. <laughs> yesterday so far it hasn't worked i didn't sleep for more than five minutes last night i don't think i've told you guys before but i have severe insomnia and i am lucky if i get one night of sleep in a week i'm determined to fix this problem in a natural way so i'm going for these magnesium things i gave up on melatonin and valerian it's been probably five years that i have been dealing with this and it's just getting worse by the day last night my heart rate was crazy like all night if you don't have trouble sleeping don't ever take a night's sleep for granted because i would pay anything to be able to sleep a night normally You hear the seagulls? That's so cool. I can't believe I can like just turn around and look at the canal. I'm in the middle of Venice right now. It's so crazy. The show was really cool and weird at the same time. I think my favorite part was the guy on a jet pack and this pig that had human boobs and a giant human penis. Buongiorno, salve. Volevo chiederle, bisogna prenotare la colazione? Penso tra mezz'oretta. Today's Fat Tuesday. At least that's what we call it in Italy. It's like the main carnival day because it's the last day of carnival. And the goals for today are number one, buying a mask. Number two, go to the main square, which is St. Mark's Square, and look at all the costumes. <laughs> Found my mask.
I am heading for lunch now. Because this camera is dead, so I can't take any more high quality videos of the masks. And I'm heading to this restaurant that has very good reviews because I'm a Google review girly and I only go to places that have more than 4.7 stars. I know it's stupid, but it's just my thing. I wanna have some chiquetti, which is a traditional Venetian little appetizers. Mostly bread with some kind of spread on top. This thing is so heavy. I almost got attacked by seagulls. They keep trying to steal my food, they're right behind me. Staring at me, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared because seagulls terrify me. One time I got attacked by them, it was like 10 of them, and they came and stole my shit, just like the whole bag. Oh, and I got a spritz too. April spritz. Doesn't get any more northern Italian than this. But this was a 10 out of 10 meal. They just kept getting better and better. My favorite one is the strawberry one because I love sweet and salty. Also, can I tell you the truth? I don't like crits. I just got it to match the vibe. I just embarrassed myself. I went in to get some more of these and the first time I went in there, I spoke English because it makes me feel more comfortable to pretend I'm a tourist when I'm filming in public. Because when there's too many people, I get anxiety. But if they'll think I'm a tourist, it's like, whatever, right? Like, tourists are tourists. They take their videos. It's like more normalized than vlogging, I guess. And the second time I went in to get more, I spoke Italian to the lady. So I don't know, she's gonna think I'm a weirdo. I'm walking towards this library because I saw a picture of it on Facebook and it looked really cool. I know, Facebook, that's how you know I'm old. To be fair, I only use it to keep up with my family members and sometimes I will share some millennial jokes. I feel like there should be a generation just for the people that are born in the late 90s because I can relate to both millennial and Gen Z at the same time. I don't know what I was expecting, but that's not it. I thought they were actually selling the books outdoors and you could go book shopping looking over the canal. But the books outside are just the set for taking pictures. Now I'm ready to go home because I am actually sleepy right now. I think I did like 20,000 steps today and I guess that's what made me tired. So maybe the solution to my insomnia problem is exercise. Because right now I feel dead. That's it.